Welcome to another 24-7. The playoffs are just around the corner and both teams featured tonight need to win to stay in that race. The home team are the Hornets. We're in Charlotte. Phoenix Suns are the visitors. We've got game action for you later on. Plus the usual selection of music, films and fashion to entertain you. Let's go. Flavor. Having an NBA team means a lot to a town like Charlotte, doesn't it? Oh yeah, and like having the Charlotte Hornets has meant that this city has been able to grow at a rate that nowhere else in America can really match. That's right, I mean they've got the mural up here right in the financial district, that says a lot, doesn't oh, it? Oh yeah, because you know up here it used to be Larry Johnson, Muggsy Bogues and Alonzo Mourley, oh, right. oh yeah. But now Alonso's gone to Miami, they've had to kind of go neutral and get Hugo the Hornet up. Yeah. But it's good because young and old alike love it. you out on well, this lovely afternoon? Well, the kids, you know, it's, uh, it's for a great cause. I mean, a stay in school program. You know, anytime we get an opportunity to really uh, interact with the kids and, and really get on a personal basis with them, I think it's important for them. You know, they, they get used to seeing us on television all the time and not really coming in contact with us. So this is a great honor for myself that uh, I'm able to be in the position that I am to lend a helping hand and hopefully give them some type of encouragement and hope to go on and do something better with their lives. Thank you. you uh, You're my favorite. Was there ever a, ch a chance of you kind of taking the wrong road and maybe missing school if you weren't so good at basketball? Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, that's that's just the, the environment that I was raised in and uh, not seeing a way out besides just playing basketball. So basketball was a, a, a tool of motivation for me. I had to do all the necessary things in order to put myself in the best position. And that comes along with getting an education, staying in school and putting yourself in the best position. So you sure these are one of these new multiplex cinemas? Yeah, yeah, it's more interactive this way, trust me. Oh, I trust you. Oh, Dan Atroyd's got a big time coming up soon, and he's... Oh, yeah, because he's in a, a new Whoa. movie. Sorry, you were saying? He's in a new movie called Celtic Pride. I understand that, that you've got a, yourself a barber shop, is that right? Yeah, yeah, we are uh, right here in Charlotte. Um, we, we, me and the guy, one of my barbers that I met when I first got here, a guy by the name of Converse Long. He's a real good guy and he's a real great barber and we've talked about it for about a year or two and we finally did it. So was it was it ever something you wanted to do yourself, you know, just trim out? Well, um, no, not really. <laughs> you know, I used to come on here in junior college. Really? Yeah, okay. but it was easy because I was like, yeah, I've cut it bald. <laughs> so all I needed was a mirror and clippers, and I could do it real easy. But when it comes to fading and putting parts and all shaping it up, I couldn't do that. Anthony Mason has his, mm -hmm. his name cut in. J.R. Reed's got, like, the little dreadlocks. dreadlocks. Yeah. Dennis is... Got whatever. So, <laughs> talk me, you know, what, what do you think when you go around? You're thinking, oh, man, I could hook you up with. I try to, I need some cars, you know. I don't keep no cars <laughs> at a barbershop. I need to keep some cars. When I see these guys, I got to give them a car, man, and let them know they can come to 6001 and we can take care of you, you know. You know, we do it all. We can shampoo that thing and get them dreadlocks, put some oil on them dreadlocks, and we can fade Dennis Rodman, you know. <laughs> yeah. we can, whatever color you want, we can do it. Grab my mom! Let's go. What? 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 Shoot that dude! I'm like an old lady. Move it, Granny! Move it! <laughs> Remember, you can't beat what you can't catch. You don't have to really be a basketball person or you know a basketball fan to identify with grandma mom you know i have uh you know elder ladies come up to me who don't even watch basketball but they can identify with that uh that commercial have you met my grandma <laughs> oh! you said earlier on charlotte a basketball mad town this is the proof isn't it oh certainly charlotte coliseum 
holds 24,000 people. And guess what? This is the 310th sellout in a row. But apparently this place isn't good enough for them anymore. Well, it's not that it's not good enough. It's just not big enough. You know, with so many sellouts, they need somewhere even bigger to house all the mad fans. to another extra, extra large portion of the NBA which comes from the state of North Carolina. This here is the Charlotte Coliseum, home of the Hornets, a team fighting tooth and nail for that final playoff slot in the Eastern Conference. Today's game is a tough one though, they've got the Phoenix Suns. With just over a month to go in the regular season, the Hornets are just inside the cutoff point of the top eight teams and they'll be hoping to keep the number eight spot away from the Miami Heat. But with just a few percentage points in it, this battle will last right up to the end of the season. So every Phoenix, on the other hand, sitting in the number six spot between LA and Portland, look a pretty safe bet to survive the season and make the playoffs in the West. But they'll be looking for a return to top form to avoid too daunting a tie in the first round. So plenty at stake in the game and a few faces and names to check out from both sides of the court. So faces we won't see tonight, Monty Bogues is out with a bad knee, also Kenny Anderson's carrying an injury, he may not spend much time on the floor. For the Suns you won't see Wayman Tisdale tonight, and also you'll see AC Green, you won't see his face. Full Phantom of the Opera face mask on to protect an injury, OK? Let battle commence. Back at the Charlotte Coliseum, the 310th consecutive sellout, the third longest sellout streak in the NBA, trailing only Chicago and Sacramento as we check out the lineups first for the visitors, the Phoenix Suns. They'll open to the backcourt with Kevin Johnson and the outstanding rookie out of Wisconsin, Michael Finley. And up front, Hot Rod Williams coming off a strong game Friday night against Philadelphia, Charles Barkley. The rookie from Arizona State, first round draft pick, Mario Bennett. And there is Cock Fitzsimmons. This his third stint as head coach of the Phoenix Suns. He was the Suns senior executive VP and handling color commentary on radio. Look at the Hornets, and they'll open up with Anthony Goldwire, originally a second round pick of Phoenix last season, playing for the injured Kenny Anderson, who we will see later on. Glenn Rice leading the Hornets, averaging better than 22 points per game. And up from Robert Parrish in his 20th NBA season, along with Larry Johnson and the vastly improved Matt Geiger. And there is Alan Bristow in his fifth season as head coach of the Hornets. A Hornet team that last year went 50 and 32, best record in the history of the franchise. And then